So, uh, let's just get this out of the way. F-Zero is S-tier. The rest of these games aren't worth fucking playing. So, uh, don't waste your time. Bye. Have a beautiful time. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Barry Opinionated. This is a podcast all about tier lists. So why don't we go catch up with the bears and go right on in snoot first for this tier list about Nintendo gaming franchises. Well, welcome to Barry Opinionated. Um, that's Swiss. Uh, I'm Doc, and oh, yeah, Fumpy. He's sorry, missed existing. opportunity. He could have done. Goodbye, you fucks. <laughs> I mean, it's not missed opportunity. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, we're gonna do a tier list based off of Nintendo franchises. We all know. I I agree. F Zero is S tier. Never played it. it it's a, it's a solid game. But there's oh, other games. You have F Zero to thank for the Mario Kart franchise mm -hmm, eventually mm -hmm. appearing, because F Zero was their first real racing game on the SNES. Dude, that was so much fun. To um, play. that had that kind of movement to it, like your first Mario Kart would have on the SNES. Yeah. Uh, was but, was the, any, uh, the Super Nintendo? Was that the one where they had the death race? Death race. Where you would go around a giant loop and spin and knock players out. It was like the original Battle Royale. But with, oh. with F Zero cars, I don't remember which game it was. Maybe it was sixty four, but that was literally the most fun you'll have. Because have... even on easy, you still get knocked off the track because there's no barricades. If you haven't checked it out, Swiss, I'm telling you, it's it's fucking fun. Yeah, no, that sounds like fun. That sounds yeah. like a lot of fun. Anyway, we'll go. <laughs> we'll continue on. Animal Crossing to me is a tier. Who doesn't want to go in debt to a trash panda? <laughs> Perpetually. Okay. Like, there is no relief from this trash panda. So, the thing with... And he uh, is a fucking panda. They don't know this bit yet. Um, they will. So, the thing with the Animal Crossing is it looks like a lot of fucking fun. And I've been wanting to play it for a hot-ass minute now. Okay. But for the fact, like, it takes patience and it, like, goes in real time, like... That's just like a Tamagotchi that will fucking die in my back pocket. Oh, dude, I can't wait to log into mine. I haven't played in six months. I'll be like, oh, my God, we missed you. And I'm like, bye, bitch, move. I don't care. <laughs> like, fuck, you guys sucked his residence anyway. Uh, but, uh, I've only played a little bit of Animal Crossing. I completely understand the appeal. Yeah. But uh, not quite my cup. That's fair. I love Animal Crossing. I think it's fun. I enjoy getting the cool costumes and, and decorating your island for the hot seasons and shit, but... Other than that, like, I don't play it often. So when I get in the mood, I'll play it for a couple days, and then I'll just forget about it again. So that's why it's, like, A tier. It's like, eh, it's not the best thing in the world, but... All right, Better Bayonetta, what about... All your girlfriends. Yeah, well, I got a wife now, so if she finds out about oh, girlfriends, okay. we're in trouble. <laughs> I don't have the fucking... <laughs> I don't have the wherewithal to have a girlfriend, because I'm already the asshole in one person's life I don't need to be it into. Uh, Bayonetta, uh, what do you guys think? I haven't played it. So, I haven't played Bayonetta, but I've seen a boatload of gameplay footage, and if you're a Devil May Cry fan, Bayonetta's for you. Um, it, it's a solid-looking game. Um, I have just never come across a way of playing it that didn't cost me $80. For that, she's a B. But look at that computer-ass booty cheeks over the emblem, dog. Like, come on. Dude, she ain't even wearing clothes. That's all hair. I'll shave her. Yeah. Um, I got She's, I got uh, carried away. Time. Sorry. <laughs> I'll shave her. That was fucking ridiculous. Um, fucking Christ. Huh? This is the most unhinged fucking tier list we're going to have. All right. Castlevania. What do you think? I think it's like an A-tier game. Dude, this is S-tier. Castle. You Castlevania. know what? You, you got a point. It's the same as Metroid. The Metroidvania style games. Yes. It sparked the whole fucking genre. Like, I literally worked on a game... That's, I could actually show you guys or get you guys to play the demo p part of it where we flip between 2D and 3D. So if anybody listening knows how to code, get in touch with me. We could use you because that's literally the holdup from releasing the game. The game is fucking awesome. But we need a couple more power ups and shit. So, you know, get a hold of me. Holler at your boy. But anyway, I digress. Uh, so the, the touch on Metroid and Castlevania. Two games where it was okay to get lost in them, and that was half the point. Uh, not super linear in any way, shape, or form. The whole point of it was to explore and learn to move certain ways and do certain things. And the Castlevania games can be very grindy, don't get me wrong. They have some very intense parts to them, and there's that difficulty scale to it. 
But again, you, you could always go back and retrace your steps and like hella replayability to the games. I could dig it, man. I enjoy it. I'm not big on Castlevania, but Metroid is my jam. Like I enjoyed the first one that when I played Super Super Metroid on the SNES. I played the original Metroid, then I played it on the GameCube. Like all of them are fun. Obviously, some are better than others because, you know, they tried to do stuff and some of it didn't work. The Wii, when it first came out, Metroid was one of the first games they released. It was so much fun. And it was because of the motion control and, like, it was easier to turn Samus into a ball and to roll through a section of this, that, or the other thing Mm -hmm. and then pop back up and the blaster cannon was actually just your controller. Really cool job with it. I just feel like it got lost somewhere in that Wii library. Oh, yeah, definitely. I think it's because the Wii wasn't so well received, but that game is literally one of the more fun games I've played. I, I, I feel like when it comes to the Nintendo Wii, it was out for a year, and everybody was kind of like, yeah, okay, about that. And then, like, all of a sudden, Wii Sports dropped, like, a year and a half in or something. I actually still have a Wii. Actually, my oldest has the Wii, but it's in her closet. The Wii U? No, like, the original Wii. Yeah, no, I'm just saying, fuck the Wii U. Hey man, the Wii the Wii U was weird. It was like they they, the Wii? <laughs> they just wanted the middle ground before the fucking Switch. The Switch. Yeah, I've, honestly, may, well, what I'm thinking it's like more of like a uh, a test yeah. to see what people felt about it, and that's probably why they made the Joy Cons removal, and then they just went back to the original when they made the light. So whatever. Back on track. Yeah. All right, uh, Donkey Kong never, Country. By the way, I never played it's... Castlevania. Metroid. I played like one game. It was fun. I like Metroid. Metroid's dope. Um, Donkey Kong Country for me is a solid A. I would play this uh, over Animal Crossing personally. I agree. Donkey Kong Country. Uh, but was uh, to go back though. to Fumpy on the Metroid, play that shit on the emulator, dude. On the Switch, on the Super, on the Super Nintendo. Copy that. Check it out. Like if you, you should definitely check it out because that literally sparks oh, yeah. a whole genre of games that you could get into right. that you may never and play. I, I, I forgot which one I played, but I did play it. I, w- I did want to play the new one because the new one looked fucking amazing. And that was my I believe that was the first female heroine in a game, because Samus one is a of, woman. Yes. Yeah. And you didn't know until it you was died. Actually, the big surprise. There were a lot of people for years that were like, "Oh, Metroid's awesome. He's amazing." Blah blah. And that became the way you knew whether the person beat the game or not. Yeah. Like he's yeah. awesome. Because then you took off the helmet the and, the suit, and when you die, you explode. And it's like, ah. Did you, and you did see, you no, you literally see like a silhouette of a woman. It's crazy that Fucking they wouldn't know that. So, so did you see the dorkly bit or whatever where it's like they're interviewing Samus and they're just like, oh, it's crazy. How you, how do you, uh, how you killed all these monsters, blah, blah, blah. And then she takes her helmet off, just like continue talking. And they're like, oh, why don't you have kids yet? Why aren't you pregnant? Blah, 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 blah. And they're just asking yes. all these women questions. She just walks <laughs> the fuck off stage. <laughs> yeah. I fucking love Dorky, dude. That I thought it was very awesome. well done. That's awesome. I don't know if you guys have played Earthbound at all, because I haven't. Uh, I yes. like playing I'm... on Smash Bros. So, okay. He came from me out. Sorry. <laughs> this is technically a Final Fantasy-esque. Okay. In a different setting, only absolutely fucking nuts. Dude, you get you get to the point where you're you're fighting things that you you can't describe. You, you, now, is you this on actually, the emulator for the Switch? Uh, there is one, yes. I might have to uh, check it out, just see what you're talking about. So, it, it starts off mundane enough where, like, oh, your house is haunted, and, like, you're fighting a chair, and it's, it's really weird. The <laughs> battle system's a little different. Well, well, hold up. I fight a chair, and my house ain't haunted. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> as you ramp up and go through it, the main villain doesn't have a form or a shape. It's just evilness so things just start to get weird and odd and like you're fighting an eyeball very hard to explain extremely long game very well done though so it's like a sci-fi-esque feel to like a final fantasy game yeah it starts off as feeling or more like paranormal neighbor yeah and then okay morphs into something completely different oh that's kind of dope i, I will give you that a beat friends here. along the way and you you know it's like life better at fighting weird shit happens you make friends along the way and you fight things friends are cool don't fight people. Fire Emblem. S tier. I won't argue that. Fire Emblem alone, what it did strictly for the handheld consoles for them is epic. Yeah, it, it's a solid. I've never really played it, but it, it's a solid game. It's bigger overseas than it is here in the U.S. Fire Emblem is a force of a franchise. 
<clears throat> Fumpy, I'm assuming you've never played that either. Correct. All right, cool. What about Early Ice Climber? Switch emulator for the Game Boy Advance. All right, whole bag. Fumpy, have you played Ice Climber? All right, that silence says it all. <laughs> Swiss it's C tier. C tier, yeah. It's, it, isn't uh, isn't it, it like a knockoff like, to Mario? Not even that. Isn't it just like you're climbing fucking... That, I'm not trying to sound like that. Aren't you just climbing ice and just beating up bad guys and seeing if you can get to the top? Well, geez, when you put it like that. It's just, so it's fucking doodle jump. <laughs> Excuse me, I think you mean doodle jump is ice climbers, asshole. Yeah. Which one's older? Ah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Who's the pretender here? Uh, I forgot his name. Um, Kid Icarus. Kid Icarus is more fun than you would think if you haven't played it. What's it? Is it off of a kid named Icarus who's going to be a Greek god? Uh, yes, it's based off the Greek gods, actually. I'll and quite beat. honestly, as far as its gameplay goes uh, and how it was received, this is in the realm of Zelda and Mario. Oh, nice, nice. So um, it's got it's like a, a cult well following. Game. Gotcha. That's dope. I've heard of it, but I've never actually played that one. Worth it, playing. Moving forward, since these are the games that I actually have played before now, Kirby, D tier. I I'm agree. That no, pink S piece tier. of garbage. No, I'm just playing. I like S Kirby. Tier. Kirby's Top good. Swiss I, is I, like, I, these bitches better put it up to S tier. I'm fucking leaving this call. Like, I would play Kirby, like, nonstop, and I still love Kirby, and I wish they had the fucking... The mere fucking one. I forgot what it was. But anyways, I would put this top of that. It's on the right emulator. Now. No, fuck you. It's not. I checked. It's like the specific one that I'm looking for. Yeah, he's being a whole bag. Dude, it I'm telling you, you can... one. <sighs> Kirby funky. Mirror Force. I'm looking. I'm... This piece of shit, bro. Continuing. Kirby. Good. Great games. All right. So to go off of that, like if you guys didn't know, you could download. You don't need the Switch. You just play an emulator on your fucking computer. I get you, get the ROM and literally play it on your computer. You're a ROM. I'm a fucking panda, dude. If I say it enough, I'll believe it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Luigi's Mansion is a tier. I enjoy them. They're they're kind of cool. They definitely take a backseat to the Super Mario games because it's Luigi. But I think Luigi's fucking hilarious because he's like I, scared. I was... Luigi's Mansion is funny because he's scared of the ghosts that he live in his mansion, but he's got to get rid of the ghosts in his mansion. What the fuck? Okay, so I'm a big Luigi fan. Like, I would rather play as Luigi over Mario. Uh, Mario 2 where he runs in the air? For the yes. Year of Luigi. Dude, yeah, Luigi's dope. I was dope. jacked for the year of Luigi. This isn't what I expected. I think it's a good game. It is fun. Not what I was expecting or hoping for, though. I, it definitely felt like they took um, Mario 64 and put ghosts in it. Like, just straight-up ghosts and shit for Luigi with the vacuum. Uh, I feel like they kind of clipped his wings in a way. Like Yeah, the game had a lot of There was a lot of potential more. there. Didn't you have to save Mario? That's ultimately, I think, what you were doing. Yeah. That's not even believable. <laughs> think about it, though. Like, Mario saves everybody. Nobody's ever saved Mario, so how is that believable? Actually, prior to this game franchise, there are a few games on the 3DO where Luigi is saving Mario. All right, you old fuck. Um, All right, sorry. Back to Kirby. Yes, they did drop the game. I will see you guys later. I'm going to go no life this game real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for so dare long. you. Second that, guess the Swiss bear. Yeah, Swiss, Swiss doesn't game. doesn't pay attention to a lot of the current stuff, but if it's a Nintendo dude, he, he's on that shit. Oh, my Legit. God. Legit. That's his so jam. So much nostalgia. So, yeah. So much nostalgia. All right. Mario Kart D tier. No, it's, it's A or S tier. Yeah, haven't played it. Just as a genre in general, like or not a genre, as a franchise, yeah, it's it's fun. Like now it's fun, and it's fun back then. Like now that you can like power slide, and it's like if it's, you it's fucking a lot of fun. family feud. These fucking people, hundred people on the fucking board. First fucking thing for Nintendo franchises, Mario Kart, Garen fucking teed. Well, they would say Mario, which would count okay. as Mario Kart. So you Point win by being, default, piece of Mario shit. Mario Kart. I would put it above Kirby, in my opinion. I love Mario Kart. Um, that's fair. Marriott. <laughs> what are we six? I like this. Uh, this is good. I, I'm not a fan of commitment. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought. I've been playing Kirby for years. No, it's all good. It, it's true. I, don't <laughs> I, I do agree. As much as I like Kirby, Kirby's had multiple games that fell on their face. I don't know yes. if there's such thing as a truly bad Mario Kart game. No, no, they. I think as uh, just Kirby is more 
Dude, if they did like a Kirby, they did the Kirby Golf, the Kirby's Dream Course, which is super fun. Kirby's not in any of the racing games either. No, they used Kirby. It's because of how he's used in the Smash Bros. community. Ah, gotcha. Uh, that there, would make sense. There was a Super Smash Brothers a while back where at the end of whatever their story arc was for it, pretty much everybody died except for Kirby. Kirby's like the one who's supposed to bring everybody back. So that pudgy so, pink ball of nonsense is going to save it? I like it. Uh, the other end of that is, you know, in the Nintendo lore, there's, the, I think, it's six or eight star children, whatever it is. Yeah. He is one of them. I do like that his shoes aren't actually attached to his body, and they just fucking move in them. That's pretty dope. <laughs> I love, like, the Nintendo, like, the original Nintendo animations were awesome, all right? Uh, Mega Man is A tier for me. Mega Man is fun as shit. Yeah, it is. I, I, Dude, I, if you wanted to play something that was a little harder and felt more serious. Mega Man's your jam. But wasn't quite Metroid. Yeah. They've had so many, and they're all solid. They all follow the pretty reasonable formula that was successful. Like, they didn't go trying to reinvent the wheel. But I think in that aspect, they fell short because there was so much potential with some of these that they could have done some amazing, amazing shit with that would have propelled this to, like, up here, you know? Agree. I always felt like, mechanically, Mega Man wasn't as fast as you wanted him to be. And yeah. goddamn, that jump felt stubby. He's jumping like, like me, dude. Pandas don't jump, dog. Fuck. He jumped like a robot that was made out of bricks. He's extra strong. He can do this and do that. Really? The motherfucker can't jump for hang time. I get that he's heavy, but come on. Bro, he can't even touch the fucking top shelf. I mean, neither can I, but Super Mario Brothers S tier. Yeah. I think that's a unanimous, like, that is synonymous yeah. with Nintendo. That is the face of Nintendo. That is their mascot. That is... I'm sorry, but that has to go in front of Kirby. I, I hate to say it, but... I think this goes in front of Mario Kart, even. Well, you wouldn't have Mario Kart without the Mario. Yes, that's true. And then you wouldn't have Mario Kart without F-Zero. I hate logic. <laughs> it's sound logic, though. It is. It is. Yeah. Uh, Pikmin. Know. Have you ever played Pikmin Fump? I have not. I've so, always wanted to. It's it's a fun little puzzle game. It really is. I would say it's... It's funny because funny I love puzzle games. Wait, what did Swiss like say? What you, what'd you say, Swiss? Where would you rank this? I This is a solid B tier. I would, I would uh, say that, too. The story's fun. It, it, it at times can get a little boring waiting for everything to happen or gathering certain things. Not the most intuitive game. Because you got to lead your little Pikmin to your area for the flower or whatever the hell it is. Isn't there a new Pikmin coming out? Uh, I think so, yeah. Or just did. Something like that. Yeah. And if you didn't know, Shigeru Miyamoto, uh, Pikmin were based off of things you've seen in the woods. I, I don't think you've seen those, but like little creatures. Pokemans. Pokemans be in D tier, dog. No, I'm just kidding. It's good. Uh, it's got to be S tier and no offense, but that has to be right there with, okay, in my mind, it's right behind Mario. And, oh. Uh, I would put it in front, honestly. Really? Yeah, like I understand that Mario is the face of it, but like Pokemon has... You're not Green. wrong. Can I, re can I rebuttal you a little with it? You, you can. can rebuttal. Movies that just came out, Mario did far better than any of the true. Pokemon movies ever have, true. including Detective Pikachu, because at the end of the day, the true heart of that franchise is still the little red fat plumber. You're not wrong. He's got a and bitch in a stash, dude. <laughs> Detective Pikachu. Man, fuck you. I liked it. It was mid. Detective Pikachu, mid all the way. I liked it because it's... I just like that shit. I like movies in general, even if they're bad. Okay, I like Sharknado, bitch. What does that tell you? I'll watch anything. That's fair. That's fair. If, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, keep, keep telling yourself that, Doc. All right, you know what? We're going to punch out and go home. A tier. I, I know uh, the original was the Mike Tyson's punch out was fun. I think it was uh, Mike Tyson. I played Mike it? Tyson's punch out yeah. because of Swiss, and uh, he coached me through it, and goddamn. Like, it, the thing is, the thing is, it is a fun game. You just learn uh, patterns. That's all you... I mean, like, you learn patterns, you move up, learn different patterns, move up, learn different patterns. So I'm going to put it at A, B tier just for the fact that besides nostalgia, besides it being a, a solid staple in, in the Nintendo community, it's kind of boring. It's kind of repetitive. It, it, the only reason I would rate it so high is it definitely showed other boxing game, other developers how to make a good, a good enough boxing game, if you will, at that time. Because... Now they're fucking uh, ridiculous. 
So Punch Out actually started off in the arcades and was adapted over to this. The yep. gameplay itself yep. actually had already pre existed the NES and being released as this title. I do appreciate that though, Doc. On the flip side, I am a big fan of Punch Out. I do enjoy Punch Out, but even I have to admit he's right here. At best, this is a B tier, unless you're a speedrunner, in which case, by all means, have fun. This is a great game for that. You're not going to beat any of the world records. It's okay. But uh -huh. What's the world record? They are unbeatable at this point. Glitches? Um, because of the amount of R RNG and ah, like gotcha. certain matches are actually programmed. Like, you can't actually just knock somebody out. You, you can't cause, like, a one-hit KO. They aren't possible in the game. So, you know, the fastest possible times have pretty much already been done. Mostly by one dude, too, so. Fuck it, way to corner the market there, that one guy. Shout out to him. I can't uh, remember his name right now. Yeah, fucking random world record dude guy for Punch-Out. Sweet. Uh, Splatoon, I have not played. I, f I think it's a fun game. It looks fun. It, it's like... It's, it's a it, fun little... I haven't around. played it either. It's a fun little fuck around. Shooter. I would say it's B, a, B tier. Is, yeah, it looks like cool, but then again, competitively, I, I wouldn't play it. But some of them people are crazy when they play that game. Can't you like it. dive into your paint and like go under the paint and fucking tunnel rat your way over there and shoot them and shit? I played the first one and they're on three now, so maybe. I could have swore I seen that, but maybe that's from a, new, a different one. But yeah, as much as I wanted to fucking play Star Fox, I've never played it. Star Fox, help me, Fox! It's a really cool game. I wasn't a fan of. Like it was fun the first couple of times I played it. The dialogue is the problem. The gameplay is eh. It was I, I, innovative I guess, for its time, but like it wasn't. I guess what is the gameplay like? It's like Asteroid, but in three D. Oh, word! That's it. Uh, yeah. You you know how the, the rear camera facing forward it just follows you around, and obviously you got you know so far left and right to going up and down. So basically, it's a side-scrolling arcade style. You know, where you can only do your thing and up, down, left, right, whatever. You can uh, hit the brakes and shit so things behind you go in front of you. But, like, you're always going forward. So it's like that one level of Mario where it's just pushing you. No matter what you do, you can't stop it. That's what the uh, Star Fox is. So if you, if you miss Look, something... All I know is by the time I got to do a barrel roll, I couldn't figure it out and didn't figure it out. Do a barrel roll! Do a barrel roll! Boost! To flip your fucking plane and die! Super Smash Bros. though is S tier in my opinion. Dude, that that needs to go next to Mario Kart. Like if if you went over to your buddy's house, yeah, and... that's right there with Pokemon. Thank you. No, yeah, I agree. Yeah, that's true. Like, if 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 you go over to your buddy's house and they don't have Smash Bros. or fucking Mario Kart, you or me like, hey mom, can you come pick me up? Fuck this guy. It like, is scrub ass. That's okay. The Wario. I've never played this game. I would put it top of A tier. I love this shit. <laughs> I love the shit out of this fucking game. For me, this is a mid B tier, but I get bumpy. Uh, so this is just a bunch of mini games. Oh, okay. Like so yeah, quick, that's right like, up his fucking alley. Quick time mini games, one after the other. Okay. And if, if if the timer runs out before you get it, or even figure out the fucking what they're trying to make you do, then you have to restart from the beginning. So it's literally trial and error until you fucking understand it and do it fast enough. Uh, it sounds fucking terrible. Anyway, it, it's like it's just speed running mini games, not just things. So it's like torture. Yeah, just I, keep I rolling away from your boss as your Dark Soul piece of shit. Fuck you. <laughs> hey, <laughs> let's not talk about my four-hour boss fight that I didn't realize <laughs> the mechanics of the fight until four <laughs> hours statement. in. Just stay tuned, uh, bitches. <laughs> anyways, Wii Sports. S-tier. <laughs> S-tier, yeah. Wii Sports is fucking killer, dude. <laughs> dude, we should do a Dark Souls boss guy, and you guys would be like, I don't know what the fuck these guys are. <laughs> All right, talk about Wii Sports. Wii Even Sports? You don't be bowling, active, dude. Bowling. Even you if could... you don't want to be active, lay your ass down on the couch and just fucking flick your wrist, dog. It's a fun game that you can play with your friends. And That's if you don't have cool. friends, you can play against the, the computer and make fun of them because they suck. Yeah, and you can use your fucking Wii person and make funny faces and shit. Yeah. You can make a Barack Obama in the Wii fucking universe and play fucking Wii boxing and beat the shit out of fucking different people. Hey, man. I uh, would just like to say I... uh. Don't support other people playing as me in uh, video <laughs> games. It's uh, it's on America. Yeah, yeah, but realistically, <laughs> as, as as much as Wii Sports did sell, because holy shit, yeah. I would put it A tier. It's not it's not the craziest thing. It was it was cool. I would play Wii Sports before Star Fox, man. Yeah, that's fair. Agreed. All right. I would play Donkey Kong Country before Wii Sports. I also agree with that. 
Xenoblade Chronicles. Have never played it. Never played it. I have not played this one either. Holy okay. fuck, we have one that we've not played. It looks like an anime type game, so. Hi, Yoshi, baby. Thing. Yeah. Dude, Yoshi's Island looks fucking amazing. Hold on. Uh, what does Baby Mario do when he loses Yoshi? That wasn't bad. No, I almost want to save him, dude. <laughs> are, are you lactating yet? <laughs> I'm totally lactating, dog. <laughs> Funny, that's the thing that made me not want to play the game. Oh, huh. fuck. We fucked up. I hate up. the sound of the baby Mario. You're like, fuck uh, these kids. It was annoying. At first, it's like, oh, that's cool. It tells you fell off. And then later, you're like, dude, shut the fuck up. I know oh, you're fucking that's floating that's away. Cool. The Legend of Zelda is S tier, in my opinion. Yep. I will, yeah, I will give it that, even though I haven't played... Zelda. Yeah, same. I can't deny that it's a pillar. Yeah, I, I think I'm one of the out of us. I played the most out of that. I, I love Zelda. Like, if Mario did not exist, this would be the face. Um. Yeah. If and you know the best part is everyone's like, "Oh, I love Zelda." I'm like, "You do? Yeah." The Zelda wears the green tunic thing and has the sword. I'm like, "No, bitch, that's Link." Get the fuck out of my face! Don't you fucking disparage Zelda like that, you unknown yeah. pieces of shit. Triforce. Hey, I'll try pot. Uh, Tripod. Oh, big man. Um, what, the Ocarina of Time. Whoa, crazy. Ocarina of Time is one of the better ones. It was crazy, actually. It's one yeah. of the first times where there's a three-day game cycle in the game, like day cycle in the game. On the third day, the moon crashes into the planet and destroys everything, and you start over. He's being a bitch bear today. Uh, no, it's one of those, while well, I have not played it, not I have you, actually man. seen that game played yeah. multiple times. And it w- it blew my mind. That is this episode of Barry Opinionated. Wah. Thank you for watching. Paw that like button. Go snoop first on the subscribe. For more bear content, sniff the notification bell. It'll let you know when we have new videos and when we go live on YouTube. For even more bear entertainment, check the description for more. <laughs>